replace the jack. After the testing to make sure that it wasn't a cord or it wasn't an adapter that was giving this power this power issue. Now at the time when I was checking out the prices for replacement jacks, the best price I could find was fifty dollars. And then when I told this to the client, it was looking at the price as fifty dollars plus a service fee. I could just put a couple dollars together and just get a brand new machine all together. Because at the time, netbooks had great promotional deals with phone companies or, or what have you. So they were just looking at a couple of dollars, I could get a brand new machine. So that's when I said, okay, I'll get back to you, let me see what I can do. So I started doing some research and then I came across a website where someone had a brilliant idea to, to help solve this issue. They were using a strong plastic, similar to that that you would see on top of an iced tea lid or even on, on a coffee can. Plastic, just like this, is just a cover that you would get on top of a, a ice tea lid or coffee can. Now this plastic is very strong, it's very durable, and the idea was to, to cut a square out, you know, similar to that of, of, the, of the jack, and then put two small screws. I, I ran mine on a diagonal to keep it stable, and this strong plastic would keep the jack in place. So it wouldn't move around and, and cause further damage to the, to the DC jack connection. Now this was a brilliant idea, but unfortunately it did not work for me when I attempted it because this specific model, the, the DC jack, was far too damaging and, and it couldn't be done. So I decided, hey, you know, let me just run a wire through it, wrap it around the DC jack and keep it stabilized in place. As you saw in the previous clip, the wire I used, the gauge, the wire gauge was too thick and it was preventing me from reassembling the laptop so I had to toss that idea out the window. I happened to have some fishing line lying, lying around so I said, let me give it a shot with fishing line and that happened to work perfect because fishing line is very strong, it's very durable but what you have to keep in mind is you have to run a heat sink over the fishing line so it wraps around the DC jack because the DC jack of course it supplies power to the entire unit and that will get hot over a period of time and I said well the only solution is a replacement jack so at that time I did some research again and I happened to find a replacement jack online for $15 now that was a major, that's a $35 difference than the $50 originally. So they agreed, yes, let's, let's get the power jack and let's install a new jack.
display didn't come on was because when I reassembled the laptop, I didn't securely snap in the memory, the RAM. And as a result, you see that light flashing and it flashed a total exactly 10 times. And this is similar to a beep coded error message that you would get on a desktop. Now this issue was successfully solved by Potter PC Repair and that laptop operates fully functional to this day. Again, I want to thank you for watching this two-part video. I hope it was helpful to you in some sort of shape, way, or form. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will have many more videos to come. Again, I want to give a special thank you to Boss King Studios for making the background music for this video. Thank you. Now it's time.